Oh, we're on. Where are we coming from? And we need some ACDC on. Some ACDC? All right, and we're back. And you know what? I would have said it's going to rain. We're not back. We're here. We're here. We're back all of the same. But I would have said it's going to rain because for once, all the equipment is working. We're here on time. Our guest was here before us. Arvin's out of the booth. It's an exciting day. Man, it, it is. is. It is, man. It was funny the guest was here before us, man. Because, you know, I don't know. Maybe because uh, Brothers Latino, they thought he was going to come clean the studio for the letter, man. And they probably just said, hi, Mike. You're here yeah. early today. Huh? You know what it is? That's true. That's true. I didn't realize. You know, what? the first time, what, four brown guys in the room? Yep. Arvin's going to say he's any brown, but he's, he's not. He's the whitest Mexican. Even ever. people who know me, yesterday we were at, uh, we went to a ribbon cutting, and um, you know Andrew Lopez from Paychecks? Yes. So there was all, man, you grew taller. Um, Geraldine tells me, so, oh, that's not Mike, huh? <laughs> I'm like, hey, not all those Mexicans look alike. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But anyways, the guest is uh, Fernando Flores. He's a stand-up comedian and a very funny guy. Uh, you, you guys here probably in the area have seen him at all the comedy shows in, uh, in town, so we'll talk to him uh, a little bit later Today on. He's, he's going to he's gonna chime in, so you're going to hear a new voice. That's who it is. It's Fernando Flores. Fernando, what's up? What's up, man? Thanks, guys, for uh, inviting me on the show. I'm, I appreciate it. This is going to be an awesome experience. I'm all excited, so uh, let's do this. You, oh, you don't know if it's going to be an awesome experience. You haven't been on our show. Yeah, you don't know yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be an experience, but we don't know if it's awesome. Huh? Well, okay. We guarantee an experience, brother. We never yeah. know if it's going to be awesome. It's yeah. one of those things. Yeah. Hey, but real quick, we start this off with a lot of the guests. We want to know, how did Arvin stalk you? What did he do to get you in-house, man? Oh, you know what? Um... There's a, it was alcohol related. <laughs> you know? As it normally is with him, that's good. Usually that's good. Is. Alcohol and food seem to go with Arvin, right? Well, yeah, you know well. what, but I like the way the tone started. I mean, because I'm sure his girl is listening right now, so please, you know, she needs some more info. Did, um, did he start taking off any? Oh, no. Uh, he, well, he, can, he, he can chime in. He figured out how to chime in from the board? Oh. Hey. Pam, Pam, why did you teach him how to use <laughs> He figured out how to get into the building. Man. <laughs> Wait, talk some more. Let me see if I can cut him off for this. But what's funny is that Fernando, when he says, you know, it was alcohol related, he just looks down like, you know, <laughs> just Fernando, shameful you feel dirty. Man. Was it your uh, own version of the crying game, brother? Uh, no, no, it wasn't no, like that. It wasn't like no, that. Right? What was the other one? The hangover. <laughs> the hangover? No, it wasn't like that. It was, you know, it was after a show. Um, there's this taco joint I went to after the show, and uh, he showed up. He was drunk. He was crying, talking about his girlfriend, <laughs> right? And uh, and he's like, "I do a radio show," and I'm thinking, "Yeah, right." <laughs> no, nah, he just got kicked off a radio <laughs> show, maybe. <yeah. laughs> no, it wasn't like that. No, not at all. He, um, I do a show. I produce my own show at the comedy. Uh, I mean, at the Ice House Comedy oh. Club in Pasadena, and uh, he came out to one of the shows. He saw me perform, and then. Uh, he shot me a message later, you know, he sent me an email and he was like, bro, you know, I think you're really funny, you gotta come on the show. So, I'm like, cool, let's let's do this. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, well, he's gonna stick around. Fernando's gonna be with us for the entire show. He'll chime in on some of today's topics and uh, we'll pick him up in the second segment. Guys, how's it going? What do we got? What are we talking about today? Well, no, everything's good. Uh, raining again, like, uh, used to be our, uh, our MO every time we came on, it used to rain. Uh, but I just want to give it a quick props to uh, <laughs> to my people in Puerto Rico, man. You know, you know it's funny. I, I was uh, waiting for that. Thirty-three cup. What is cops, man? Dude, what? Did everybody is everybody from Bell? It's from your from your dude. home country too? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I saw that this morning. I was getting ready for the show. Oh man! I'm telling my wife because I know she's listening. She's on the floor laughing. We were getting ready for the show. I'm looking at the headlines and on the front page of CNN. Right under Katy Perry got kicked off Sesame Street. We'll come back to that because that was sad too. But the <laughs> oh. fact that Mike's homeland, which you know, I still say is a third world country, brought up here a bit of Puerto Rico. Yeah, I have been. But they, they, they eat sawdust, okay? He calls them a fungo, I call it sawdust. Anyway. Because <laughs> you got no taste buds. Yeah, man. that's what it is. Okay, so in his country, oh, yeah. 60 of them were police officers. I'm like, what are they all from Bell? But a hundred, was it 133 now? 133 total, yeah. As man. of this morning, there was only a hundred. How many How many people are on your island? Like 400? No, about 540. 540, so, so they've already arrested Why do they 20%? need so many police officers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like well, five to one, four to one. What's amazing, though, is uh, what they were doing, they were uh, providing protection to uh, drug dealers. Wow. And then it took uh, a thousand FBI agents you know, to carry out the, uh, the raids and all this stuff. But, Man, I wish we would have known about it, because then he could have got away with stuff here. Man. All the FBI's over there. Well, yeah, I mean, granted, you know, the <laughs> FBI's on, you know, but what's funny is, Mike, did they actually, would they come in an airplane? I mean, did they take a boat? Well, what do they do to get to your island, brother? I mean, you know. It, that's classified. <laughs> slingshot. So bases, they man. slingshotted him over there, right? <laughs> so, but anyways, man. No, wait, 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 wait. The important question is, 
Any family members involved? You know what? I don't know yet, man. I'm still waiting for, for a phone call. <laughs> You got, you got family, you got family in law enforcement. Where went our two listeners in Puerto Rico, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now, you know? <laughs> two of our listeners. Our listeners. Yeah, hey, if you're talking about you, call me. Our only two over there. What's going on, man? Right? Oh, man. We're going to get... Mijo? You know, and we're I, okay. Hey, and, I, and I wondered, I said, of all topics, you know, he normally, we're not on the same page when it comes to the topics we're going to talk about during the show. But I said, I wonder if he's going to get the uh, the notice about all his PR people. So, oh, yeah, man. that's... Uh, no wonder Oscar one. De La Hoya never wants to come back from Puerto Rico, huh? <laughs> man. He's, got He's the golden man. boy over there, man. Shoot. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah, but you know, have you been hearing how, you know, Bell started all these investigations across the nation now? Yes. Uh, people are coming down on, on uh, government officials that are making bank, man. Just in towns like in Nebraska, I mean, places like Nebraska and all those, you know, park commissioners making like three, $300,000 and things like that. Yeah, but what's, the, the, what's, run the, wild, what's this huh? world coming to? When an American elected official can't steal from the people, man, that's just wrong. That's an American well, right there. Know, but they're saying now that... Um, Who's going to run? Nobody wants to run for dog catcher, police commissioner, park commissioner, well, unless you well, can them, steal they from they don't the, even run. They're, they're appointed. But so. that's just it. No, no, in some places they still elect them. Like somebody we know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm not sure how to take that, but uh, we're going to move on. All I'm saying is if you can't become an elected official and steal from the people, what fun is there? Dude, and, and apparently there's a new list out with this, I don't know, like 200, 200 uh, LA County officials that are making over $250,000 a year. And now they're going to get investigated. Man. They go all the good county jobs. I'm telling you, man, that's it. Well, you know, why am I going to run? I'm out. That's it. That's it. No more. Take your application back. The true story, and this is uh, this is Fernando speaking. Uh, about five years ago, I live in the city of Bell. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, yeah. I live in the city of Bell. That's not that's just limo that was yeah, out front. Oh, man. That, that's why I came in a limo. Oh, that's, why I, that's why I got here early. I got. A Are you related to the mayor? Huh? No, actually not. <laughs> I'm not. But um, no joke. I was gonna run for the city council about five years ago. Bro, you'd have been rich. I know. And here's the thing. <laughs> and here's the thing. People that I know, people that know me personally, tell me, "Oh, you know what? Though you would have done the right thing." And then the people who really know me well would have been like, or they're like, hey, bro, you would have been in jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They're right, man, because how are you going to turn down a $200,000 a year job? Well, see, and that, that's what I've been asking people when they say, oh, you know, it's wrong, it's this. But if you're sitting around a room, you're not robbing a bank, and there's seven other people, because only that one poor guy, or he, they say poor, but I call him a clown because nobody liked him, didn't get, he was only getting his eight, 80 bucks a month or something. The councilman. He's yeah. a councilman. But when you're sitting there with seven other people who say, look, there's a way if we change the charter, hold an election. Yeah, but you know, like like that's a crime. But like the police officer, he took a job that paid well. He really didn't do a, cr a crime. You know what I mean? He's the only one who's gotten off the hook. The rest voted themselves a raise. You know? Hey, but it, but well, technically, aside from all the other stuff they did, I think that part was, was okay. unethical yeah. and immoral. Okay, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's all. But really, I mean, how many people would have said no to that kind of money? Right. Oh no, exactly. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard once you're in that position. Well, we're glad you didn't take because then you wouldn't have been in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I don't know if orange really matched with you. I'm not sure. You know, no, it would have worked good on you. Orange, huh? orange jumps would be for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, dude, what's funny is that since you're talking about the police and, and Bell, um, the, the former police chief, you know, he's been on disability and collected like millions Partial, of right? dollars Part, on, huh? on you know, tax free benefits. But then now all the stuff is coming out that he's run like 5Ks. You know, he brags about his uh, personal time on uh, police department, fitness tests, that kind of stuff. So all this thing is coming up. Yeah. He's been bragging about that, and now he's going to bite him in the butt. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to say, wait a minute. So now they're going to investigate him based on his own uh, statements. And then it's funny is that he's a he's like a friend of the of that spaceship girl, right, or whatever. The the second girl that was a the, right, the, was a, oh, the, the assistant the clerk city manager. Of the, yeah, yeah, he was a friend of hers, so that's how he found out that they had an opening. Wow. Yeah, so... It's all going to come to fruition. With, yeah, uh, it's all going to be bad. What, what I, think, else uh, I think Fernando's got a call. Uh, I think there's a call for, for Fernando. Is that is that right? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the way Pat's looking know. at me, man. I don't, know, I don't like what it says. <laughs> you want to say who it calls Wait, from? Do, do we have a screener? Do we have a screener? Is there anything having to do with child support payment? <laughs> well, it's just, well, yeah, it's a secret lover. Do not so. take the call. <laughs> what? what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, you're a kid. At least it wasn't this, nine this, this, this a raffle. He's Latino. So it's either Dearden's, Curacao, yeah. child support, yeah. or yeah. they recall him bill. Yeah. Oh, that or it might have been an uh, immigration hearing. <laughs> <laughs> you skipped out. You skipped out, man. No wonder he was here earlier, man. All right. Hold on. Let's see. 
Hello, color. Yes. <laughs> Do, do we need, do we want to hear this on the air? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I, okay. Wait a minute. Like, I gotta <laughs> ask this question. I'm curious, man, because you know I think my my uh, headphones are messed up. Uh, you're female, right? <laughs> oh, here we okay. go. Now, you know, here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. I don't... Well, what's your name? Let me ask you that question. Yolanda, but your real name is Josh. Well, then Fernando wants to file a police report because you stole a kiss from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't give those out for free, man. You, just, you know... <laughs> you know, sometimes, <laughs> what are you going to do, man? That's a fringe benefit. Top oh, is an alcohol. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, Yolanda, what, so what's going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando, you're heartbreaking. What's wrong with you, man? That's wrong. Uh, you know what? Uh, here, here's the thing. Um, I have a lot of... See, I don't know if this is real. Yolanda, are you real? Because look, he, he, or Josh or whoever, I'll tell you what. I have a ton of comedian friends and I actually dreaded one of them calling and saying, hey, I got herpes or something. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, dude. See, what did I freaking tell you? What did I freaking tell you? you know? No. So, oh, so, did you get that sword tested? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so, 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 you named the sword Fernando. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. All right. Wow. Um, well, Yolanda, we want to thank you for calling in. That was... Um... <laughs> you have a good one, Ed. and Fernando, you're amazing too, I guess. Wow, Fernando, I am, yeah. wow. <laughs> thanks right. for calling, Yolanda. Take care. Oh, all right. Thank you, Yolanda. Josh. Wow. No oh, man, dude. So where where was got, that? You at? Got baggage, huh? What neighborhood was that? <laughs> well, you, the, the comedy meltdown show is in Pasadena. It's oh, at the okay. Ice House Comedy Club. But uh, like I said, you know, honestly, I did dread that happening. I'm like, hey, you know, I have a lot of comedian friends, and these guys. They are going to call and they're going to say something, I'm pretty sure. However, it is, what, a little past 2 o'clock on a Wednesday? A lot of these guys are asleep. Hmm. You know so what I mean? Good. So. Hey, so when is the next show? You know what? I'm, the next Comedy Meltdown show is actually going to be at the end of November. We're on hiatus for October. Um, but I am performing at the Ice House this coming Friday night, uh, October 8th, is it? I believe it is October 8th, right? The Friday is October 8th or 9th. What, if you have a calendar in front of you, check it out. Cause my... It is the 8th. All right, cool. Um, shows at 8 o'clock, um, and it's, uh, the Ice House is having their 50-year anniversary show. They're having a big show this coming Sunday, and uh, it's going to be big. Gabriel Iglesias is going to be there, Jay Leno, all these huge Man. stars are going to be there. But the week leading up to it, they have a week of 100 comedy stars, and uh, they put me on the show. Out of thousands of comedians, they put me on the week of 100 comedy stars, and so I'm on the Friday show, so if you're interested... You have to go to icehousecomedy.com, the website, and um, click on buy tickets, and you can see me at the Ice House Comedy Club this coming Friday night. Cool. Yeah. Right, just shut to the door and just tell them you're a friend of Fernando's, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you, you can do that. The, the secret word is uh, Yolanda. <laughs> Hot lips. <laughs> Hot lips. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with some of those bubble gum, those wax ones. Bro. I like it. I like it. Dude, just make sure you paint your corner right there so you got the little business. Oh man. What do you yeah. mean I can't get in this little Fernando right here? <laughs> I got a surprise for him. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> so this Friday, 8 o'clock at the Ice House. All yeah, right. outstanding. Pasadena. All right, well, Sorry. we'll continue with the show, and for now, I was going to stick around and help you chime in. You know, I know you guys have been watching the news. Another big travesty this week was Katy Perry got kicked off of Sesame Street. Now, is that the thing, the, the bitch you did with Elmo? The yes. what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
know, right? It took me a second. Yeah, you said the bit she, she did. did. Yeah, but you yeah, said it too fast. All right, that's our cue. We'll come back to that one. We'll be back after a minute. This is the Three Guys Rant on AdviceRadio.com with Fernando Flores in the studio.